everybody. So we're going to do something a little different today. I am going to take you from start to finish on a recent commission I had for uh, a wedding portrait. So um, this is just a really small commission and um, I did a version of the Mish technique that I normally don't do, but it's definitely something uh, that is very approachable, very accessible. But what it does really count on is that you fully render that underpainting in one go, uh, rather than having multiple uh, chances um, at building up the highlights and shadows, the various chromatic grays. This version of the Mish technique has a single layer underpainting, and then you glaze the color over top of it. So I'm gonna just walk you through as the video is sped up and kind of talk through the process and uh, you can see how this um, version of the Miche technique goes from start to a finished painting. I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think. Okay, so here I just drew out um, in white chalk over a burnt umber background my main image. And you can kind of see my iPad there on the left. So I'm, I've got my reference pretty much the exact same size right next to it. And I just started uh, doing the white um, and uh, filling in the image, you know? And as you can see, I um, really am trying to get as much of the um, full range of tonality in just this one uh, layer. And so I can real quickly after doing that, uh, I can start doing my color glazes. So because I'm starting with such a dark background, um, there's already so much shadow kind of baked into um, what's going on in the underpinning, right? So as you can see, I, I really don't need uh, too much messing around with the color to kind of make something um, really pop um, on uh, when I apply the color, right? So I'm just glazing in, as you can see, and um, I'm not even doing so much uh, painting direct with glazes at this time. I'm just putting on that basic color and seeing where I'm at. And I'm gonna start going back into it eventually. Uh, as you can see, I just put some white back on white glaze back onto some of the colors of the dress. Um, and applying some of that in a variety of different ways to throughout the painting. So uh, now it's really, you know, I've gotten the main core of it on there and I've just started to apply uh, some of those techniques as I've talked about in other videos of white glazing, shadow glazing, um, getting some of those colors where I want them, um, glazing the red over the dress, glazing the white over the, um, uh, coat tails and pants uh, to kind of get this red and white alchemical um, hint of, of what the, the story behind this painting is, which I will post in the uh, com uh, I'm sorry, in the description below. So, uh, you know, I had all those stars in there the first time around, and I've kind of added them back in with a very light blue, so not with white, as you can kind of see in the background image, right? And uh, I did my kind of uh, glowy orbs in the bottom, which uh, I did not have any underpainting, but these are practically glazes. And then I uh, went for it here with this swooping energy uh, business. And, you know, as all good fantasy or visionary art has, you need swooping energy. So this swooping energy and... and I think it's a personal preference, but my swooping energy always has little dots in it, uh, you know, because dots are magic. <laughs> and um, so my swooping energy has dots, and so I am filling in those dots as we speak. So again, the red uh, for the feminine energy and the white for the masculine energy are combining here alchemically um, to kind of create that... Uh, third, the other, the life, the um, new life that uh, this couple would like to bring into the world, uh, both in their sacred union as well as uh, manifesting physically. So that's kind of what is happening there. I'm just filling in 
Um, all of those tiny little dots with a tiny, tiny paintbrush as, um, you know, that's uh, really part of the storytelling mechanism of what's happening in this painting. There I go. So as you can kind of see again, like the background image is a real close up of the painting as it's been slowly kind of going from top to bottom as the video progresses. So, you know, you can kind of see in close detail um, what this looks like and how, you know, really that little uh, mushroom had one, one coat of glaze on it and, you know, it's done, right? So here I am signing a painting. It's always important to sign the painting um, as kind of, I like doing that as like a, you know, nice bow on top. And when you're, um, you know, kind of pressed for time and uh, I'm not going to use a DeMar varnish, but I varnished with liquid. I use liquid as my base and uh, for the glazes. And so I can varnish it with that easily as just a protectant. And here we go. The painting is finished. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you.